Let's go. Hey, hey, Shamas. Hey, Shamas. Okay. So just put the buckets to the side. Just do a little bit of stretching. So really loosen in movement, just with the shoulders, just rolling. You try and get the whole body. What you want to do is is look for a wave. So forwards through the shoulders. Just rolling back and forward. So nice and loose and wave through the body. You wave through. Let the arms follow from the center. Good. So forward. Good. 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 And then the same, just go through a sideways movement. So horizontal. Just wave. Allow the arms to kind of drag the body. Keep it nice and loose. That's it. So roll through the feet. Good. That's it. Good. Good. Now just with a rotation very loose, just rotate with the body. Allow the feet to come off the ground here as well. So slightly come out from the feet. Just roll. Really loose from the body. Good. Good. Just keep going. That's it. Good. Good. And then now just introduce a forward bend. So bending from the hips, just a bit more. So come back and down. And down. Back and down. Back and down. So play with really opening the shoulders out now. So really open out. Roll down. Increase the range of movement and start to touch the ground with the fingers. Nice and loose. That's it. That's it. Good. That's it. Okay, good, keep going. Just a little bit more. Very good. 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 Okay, the next one, you're gonna you're gonna bring the hands up, stretch up, and then swing down through the feet. You're gonna stretch up, swing down with the feet. Swing down, so stretching up, swinging down. Allow the weight of the arms to drop through the body. So keep the knees loose. Spring through. Yeah. Good. Okay, yeah, keep going. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Okay, the next one, just for the hips, just roll, take the hip. Big circles. That's 
Sure. And then the other way. Okay. And then from here, you're going to be in this position. Go here, and then you're going to roll to one side. Bring the arms up, roll to the other side. So you're going to go one, wrong. Really loose. Yeah. Yeah. So neutral out. Well. Well. Good. Super. Good. Good. The next one's similar. <clears throat> you're gonna go front and back, so here, this way. You're gonna roll front and back. So the arms come, one touches to the front, one touches to the back. Let the, let the, mi, mi cuerpo, aquí. Ahora aquí. So follow the spine. Allow the head to follow the spine. So from side to side. Good, good, keep going. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and hustle with Muy bien. Good. Hale, ahora, aquí, en esta posición, ahora, dong. You're going to go up, down. So the neutral position's here, you see, and then you're going to drop to the side, to the top of the circle. Aquí. Aquí. Keep the arms loose. Shoulders down. So good. That's it. Good. Keep going. Good. Very nice. Good. <clears throat> okay, now. Combine the two, so you're gonna start here, you're gonna roll down, and then roll back up. Roll down, roll back up, so it's one circle. You go down, rotate, and then back up. Down, rotate, back up. Just look for circles. So the arms are going in different directions. Yeah, that's it. Good. 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 Keep going. Very nice. Great. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. The last one. <clears throat> You're gonna be in this position, uh, bring, the, bring the arms up and you're gonna squat down. You're gonna come down into the ground and push into the foot and then draw up. You're gonna come down, draw up, come down. So it's led by the center work this way, down into the ground, you can see. So you come here into this position and then come down into the ground. Draw up and then come down. Come down. That's it, good. Come down. Oh, that's okay. Hey, Pata. Yeah? Okay. Sorry. That's it, move in. Good. Okay, good. And then just, just loosen off with the body. 
you know, roll the arms, shoulders, and the spine, Vienna. Shake everything out. Ankles. Hands. Shake the hands at the top. And spirals. Good. Okay, take a book in. Book in. Warm up. <laughs> Done. Okay, good. So we'll just start from this position. What I want to work on today is the, the, the primary, you see, the primary direction is the vertical. So the up down is the first, the first direction is the vertical. So what you're going to do is work with the feet shoulder width apart here. Okay, just in this position. So a neutral position. Really find the back like this and then just drop down with the body. So find the back, drop down. Yeah. So. That's it. Okay. Find a really clear direction. Vertical, dropping down. Vertical, dropping down. Vertical, dropping down. The tip of the bucket can just touch the floor. So just make contact very lightly with the floor. Coming up and down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, keep going. That's it. Good. Good. Oh, rolling. Good, good, good. So in this case, <clears throat> because of the because of the nature of the grip, it's asymmetrical. What tends to happen is one shoulder starts to dominate, and it's always going to be the it's usually the right shoulder. So what tends to happen is it starts to twist twist my form, twist my structure. So in this case, focus on the shoulders, keep them both in the in the in the body. So they're going to maintain the structure but don't let one kind of come out in this case. Keep the hips neutral and look, look for this position. So this, this shoulder's relaxed. Yeah. So look for both shoulders, relax down, relax down. Yeah, keep going. Hey, Roland, good morning. <laughs> so we work on the first saburi. So sh feet neutral, shoulder width apart. Just arcing through. Good, good, Adrian, great. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. And see, in this case, the, 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 the focus is on the connection and where the movement originates. So in this case, it, the impulses kind of always come from the feet, from the ground. So in this case, the sword is raised by the feet and then it's going to be dropped here by the body. So raise up through the feet, <coughs> drop into the feet to make the movement. But don't allow the arms to start first. If the arms start first, I'm, I'm, breaking, I'm breaking my structure. I'm breaking the order of, of, of how to use the body. So start with the ground, draw the sword down. Body draws the sword up. Body takes the sword down. So look for this kind of organization. Yeah. So the impulse from the ground. That's it, very good. 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 Yeah, great, great, great. Very good.
Okay, good. Good. Now the next step, do it from the same position, shoulder width apart, find the back, and then come down and just, just place the sword on a horizontal plane. So find the back and just place. Find the back just in this horizontal position. So no power, sin forza, sin velocidad. Just place the sword. And look for the same structure. Feet, hips, hands. Feet, hips, hands. Feet, hips, hands. Feet, hips, hands. Yeah. Go ahead. Good. That's it. That's it. Got a nice, very nice. Good. Yeah. Good. Muy bien. Okay, good. Then the, the next step, just add the focus to the hands up. You're gonna find the back and then just finish. So you're gonna now focus with the with the hands. Here. Okay. Now the focus is gonna be one sec, I just changed the camera. The focus in a way is like this from the center. From the center. From the center. So something's gonna happen in the hand, but it's really just a it's just a tight of the grip. But from the center. So I have the feeling that when you find the focus, it's coming from the center. So my focus is actually here and it's transmitted into the hand. So that the, the, the focus happens here and then here, this. So it's not just in the hand with the center empty, but it's actually coming from the center. So the focus is gonna come here. So the focus happens here and then it transmits into the arms and then into the sword, yeah? So just look for this. So add the focus. Add the focus. Good, keep going in your time. Good. Good. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, and in the case of the grip, <clears throat> if if one hand dominates too much, what happens is I get pulled out. So try and have the feeling that both of the hands are concentrating. So it's going to happen in both hands, both hands at the same time. So just play with the grip. You can do one hand, two hands. Just play with finding the grip. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And then look for both, both together, both together. So now just play with a very light movement. Raise, find the focus, raise, find the focus. Together, together. Together, together. Yeah, keep going. Just play with it. Play with the focus. Good. That's it. That's it. And have the feeling that it's connect, connection and extension and not pushing. So I don't push at all. So there's no, there's no sense of pushing the sword, but there's just a sense of tightening. So it's, it's connecting in and extension through. So I, I'm, I'm extending my feeling in and I'm connecting my intention into the, into the sword. But what I'm not doing is pushing. Okay. So in this case, the reason for this, for this posture is that I, I, I don't need to go anywhere. So I just stay on the spot and just, just find the focus here. Here. But don't, be temp don't follow the temptation to push out. Don't push. 
So just extend and connect. Extend, connect. Yeah, extend, connect. So light, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Good. Good, very good. That's it. How to we move in? Good. Good. Okay, so now from the same, with the same idea, just coming here in, in Kamai, just bring the sword forward, right side forward, do the same thing, nice and slow. Just find the back and then find the cut. So Ichi no Suburi, find the back, find the cut, find the back, find the cut, back. Yeah, super lento. Sin forza, sin velocidad. Nice and slow. Good. That's it. Good. Good. And then the same, go to the left side. So, piano izquierda. Find the back, find the ground. Find the back, find the ground. Yeah? On the left side. So, the same. Cutting down. Are we changing the handwork or is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so in this case, the handwork is going to change into, into this position. So, slightly closer. Okay, yeah. so, but we're keeping find the same the right, left. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, keep keep the right hand on top. Just go to the left, left okay. side. So left hand me. Find the back. Good. Is it for Good. Zengo thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is also just to equalize. Okay. So training left and right. Good. 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 So again, because of the nature of the trickle grip, you're going to make some changes. So what the first one is that the hands are slightly closer together. So my hand works slightly shifts from this position to somewhere around here. And it's due to your own comfort. So it's, it's, it's really for your shoulder, for your own structures. That if I'm here in this position, it will pull my shoulder forward. I come out of the structure. So find the position that's right for you, where your shoulder can sink back into the body. So find this position, sink back into the body. Yeah, that's the first, the first slight adjustment I make for the left side. Yeah, just try that. So just, just experiment, explore with the position of the hand. And it's totally down to you. It's, it's a personal, depending on your body. Yeah. And the key thing is your structure. Listen to your shoulder. Yeah, that's it, good, good. So the second, the second adjustment, because it's on the left side, it's, it's in, in, in inherently weaker as a side. So the left side's inherently weaker. So what you're going to do out of necessity is the, the cut needs to be slightly closer to the body. So on the right side, you have a lot of extension. So I can naturally get a lot of extension. This is why all the Kumitachi finish on the right side, it's the strong side. The left side's weaker because if I extend out, I, again, I break the structure. So if I extend too far, I break the structure. So in this case, keep the cut. It's the cuts a little bit closer to the body. So it's not as big an extension as in the, as in the, as in the right side. So just explore with the amount of extension. 
Just play with going too far. If I go too far, don't, 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 it pulls the body out. Uh, so I don't want to be too tight to the body. This is too tight without extension. So just find the back and just look for, again, a natural arc. It should feel totally comfortable, but inherently weaker. So the weaker side, left side. Yeah, just explore in your own time. <coughs> so just look at the distance between the distance of your tension, basically. And do it badly as well. Doing bad's good. <laughs> bad's good. That's it. Good. Very good, very good. Good. Okay, good. And then we just go into Zengogi. So two directions. Zengo giddy and find the back, find the cut. Rotate, find the cut. Just in your own time. The so right side, left side. Right side, left side. Yeah. Look for the ground, the connection, and your extension into the sword. Good. That's it. Good. 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 So we go to Chiho, Giri. So from here, just find a, a kind of north, north position. I'm going to go one, two, change the foot, three, four. Yeah, and then come back into Kamai. Pause, and then go again. Goes itch. Sound. She. And come on. Yeah, nice and relaxed. Give it a try. Chief Oak Giri. Good. Very nice, good. Okay, Hapo uh, Giri. So now, okay, we do eight directions. So again, find the find the north side. You're gonna go it. She go rock sit ha and then back to the north. Yeah, go in your own time. Hapo giri. That's it. Good. Oh. 
Okay, good. And just come to a stop on the next one, just in your own time. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to stick with Shamanuchi today. We do just one more exercise from here. You're just going to come from the backside, from the back foot, and come forward with a strike. So really basic Shamanuchi attack from the front foot, just coming forward. Okay? So just find the Kamai, slide forward, and it's just one movement. Now, in this case, I don't find the back, so don't find the back in this case. Just press from the back foot and then come forward with the strike. So really clear Shomanuchi from the back foot, strike through. Yeah, just one cut. <laughs> back. Yeah, just in your own time. We'll do, we'll do 10 together, okay? We'll, do, we'll try together. So, in Kamai, Shomanuchi goes itch. And then back. Knee. Back. Sam. Right. She. Oh. Rock. Sitch. Hatch. Coo. Use. Good. Just in your own time. Show me So just try one exercise with it. This to just move from the ground. So just explore this kind. Take this. Take the sword out of it or the cut out of it. What I want you to do is just from the ground. Feel that you press. The pressure comes from the back foot here. Builds and then comes forward. So you kind of spring out from the ground. So keep the sword just here. Just press in here. So it's really from the center, from the back here. So the the, the primary direction is down. So any kind of horizontal movement I make. Needs a, needs a direction down in the vertical. So press the ground and then move forward. Yeah. Press, move forward. Just explore <clears throat> both sides. The sword here, just press in with the sword. Really stable in the ground. So one movement, press and move. Yeah. Find the ground, press and move. And just keep the sword very loose. Forget about cutting for the moment. Just think about moving, pressing forward. Can you show your feet, please? Yeah, sure. So from here. One moment. Sorry about that. Yeah, you got it. From from here, press and press, and then press back. Also, in this in this case, also explore the, the backwards movement as well. So, in this case, press out, and then from here, the front foot and press back. Yeah, press out and press out. Yeah, press out. Press out. Yeah, and just explore. You've really got to feel with the feet. Your feet are really just hands. So you've got to kind of touch the ground with the feet. Touch the ground here. As if you're just pressing out. You're actually, what you're, what you're, I make a distinction. So there's a really clear distinction between being on the ground and in the ground. In this case, you want to be in the ground. So what I don't want to do is, I don't want to push off the ground in this case. It's a, it's, a, it's a way of moving, but in this case, it's not really what we do. So you don't want to press out of the ground. You want to compress into the ground. So I compress in, and then I move. And then I compress in, and then I move. But I don't press out of the ground. So it's not a jump. It's a press in. So think of pressing into the ground. It's compression, compression, aki. Yeah. Aki. Yeah, just explore this. Ground and not on the ground. Here. Yeah, yeah, just explore the footwork. Okay, give it a try.
So this is a compression pattern, the front foot. That's, that's it. Good. Yeah, good. That's really good. Great. Good. Yeah, 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 exactly. Good. Good. So now with the sword, let me see my feet. Oh, yeah. With the sword, try dos lados, izquierda, derecha. Derecha es mucho más fácil. So here, and then just change sides. And you're gonna, again, press from the ground. So the cut is released from the ground. It's not in the hands here, but it's in the feet. So it's in the hips. So the, the, the order is feet, hips, hands. It's always gonna be the order like this. So press feet, hips, hands. So your power's sourced from the ground, directed with the center, expressed with the hands. This is the kind of order. Just try both left and right side. Find the ground, press. The slower, the better. Just look for one cut, one movement. Okay, keep going, you're on time. As the, yeah, good, Diva. Good, 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 good. So in this case, really try and <clears throat> even that this one of the one of the problems with the Suburi training is that it becomes repetitive. So the Suburi training becomes yeah, it becomes kind of calisthenic uh, repetitions. What you want to do is just one thing. So always think of doing just one cut. Whatever the Suburi is, think of just doing one, 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 one thing. So in this case, just in your mind, focus on just just think of one. Here, yeah, finish, and then start again. One, and then start again. One. Yeah, just think of doing one cut, one thing. We don't think about doing repetitions. It's not a, it's not really a repetitive act. It's just one thing. So just think in your mind, one, one, one thing. Oscar! That's a... <laughs> yeah, and in terms of the focus, so what we looked at before, the focus in the hands comes from the center. So it's not that the hands do it and then the, the center gets caught out, but it's that the center fixes, the center, the center squeezes, connects and connects to the hands. So in this case, it's more difficult. So just explore in this case that it's going to be the center's going to be fixed, and then then it exp is expressed into the hands. But it's not the case that the, the the hands do it, and I get pulled out. This will break the structure. So in this case, really focus on the center work. It's going to be solid. So muy solido aquí, aquí. Pero no es no es esto. No. So la foca no es, no es, no es solo en el mano, los, los manos, es en mi centro. Primero, mm. primero, primero aquí. Ahora, con. Mm. Pues, aquí. Yeah. So shift, shift your focus to the center. Oscar! Hey. <laughs> hey. Watch. I just watch. <laughs> <laughs> watch training. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, that's it. So, what I want you to do now, an exercise with this, 
I've disappeared. So what I want you to do is in your own spaces, <clears throat> they can be, um, you're going to make contact with something. Okay. No, no actual contact. You're not going to touch. What you're going to do is focus on something and, and cut it. Okay. And you're just going to touch it. Hopefully you can see. I've got lots of trees here. So I use the trees to, uh, the, the leaves of the trees as lots of targets. So use whatever you've got in your house, like books or, or I don't know, wine bottles or whatever you've got. Just, just, just focus on something and cut it. And you're just going to touch it with the sword, yeah? with the tip of the sword. So you're just going to find something, cut it. Yeah? Minimal contact. Start with no contact and then work towards a really precise uh, connection. So as if, as if you're, the tip of the sword is like a finger and you're going to kind of place it. You're going to just touch it. So there's no weight in it. It's just a kind of connection. Don't. Very precise. Yeah? Just look for that. See if you can, see if you can find it. So just explore your, your place. And just make contact. That's it. Let's see. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Just try the same, this one. Okay, do the same thing just with the hands. Oh, I think my connection's gone. No, you still see me. So do the same thing just with the hands, you're just gonna touch. With the hands. So one hand, one foot, touch. So come back from the ground here. Just touch. Find something else and just touch it. Yeah, it can also be high. So just explore contact, connection through the feet. Donk and touch. And touch. And try and connect from a position of comfort. So I don't want to reach out and stretch out. And also don't want to be too tight in the body. Yeah. Just make a connection that's that's kind of as if you're reaching for a phone yeah hopefully in balance not like this just reach out take it yeah just try just with the hands that's it. yeah good Good. Yeah, good, good, good. I really make contact with something. So you, you, you can with the, with the hand, it's, you're not in danger of breaking things. So really make contact with it. So now with the finger or a hand, really make contact with something. Yeah, so really explore physical contact. So really make contact with something. Yeah, give it a try. So really explore, actually actually make contact. So really touch. You're going to touch. Try. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, good. Good. Good, good, good. Good. And then do the same thing, go back to the sword, back to the bucket. <clears throat> you're gonna now just increase the precision. So you're gonna cut and really cut with a sense of finishing. This time, <clears throat> really have the feeling of making contact. So with the bucket, cut making contact and really you don't want to disturb what you contact, connect to just make contact touch contact touch so very precise as close as you can get you can see good that's it that's it that's it Good. Awesome. 
Also explore high and low. So, so now <coughs> change the target. So explore high targets and low targets. Look for the same kind of connection. Cut. So high and low. What it means is the body's got to change to adapt. So in the case of going low, the body's really got to adapt. In the case of going high, the body's got to adapt. Yeah. But it's all going to come from a strong, stable base. So again, the primary focus is the ground, the feet, and connect from that position. Yeah. And just explore high, low, middle. Good, keep going. Good. Yeah, good. Great. Good. Good. Okay, the last thing we'll do, we'll look at some handwork. So we'll look at some cocu handwork, just with the bucket, uh, with the hands. You can see, spotlight. Okay, good. So with the hands focus, you're gonna focus on this kind of movement. The same kind of feeling, but this time you're not gripping with the sword, the same feeling that the center, center connects and then expresses into the hands. So just feel, just start from here without movement, just the hands, just press from the center. Press out from the center. The hands are going to find a spiral, arc through, and this. So you're just going to express the center through the hands, through the hands, through the hands, and just explore different angles, just with the hand. So you're kind of the same feeling as with the bokken. This, this. Good. Keep going. Good, good, good. Good. So really explore, in this case, the handwork, you see the hand, as if there's a kind of pin in the middle of the hand, it's gonna, ro it's gonna rotate, it's gonna rotate. And what you press is the, is the, is the tegatana here. I'll just change this one second. With this one. So you're gonna kind of put the this part of the hand is presented. In this case, it's not this. So it's not a pushing movement. It's just an extension out. So this part of the hand is gonna coil this, this. But be careful of this. Don't do this. This is pushing. You're gonna do this, this. Yeah. So just explore the hand. Works gonna coil. It means that the wrist needs to be very flexible. So explore f this kind of flexibility. This this and the hand is just the focus the main work is being done in the feet and in the center and the hand just expresses Boom. yeah that yeah good that's it yeah yeah good good great yeah, José Luis, bien, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. So just do one, there's one thing you can do with, imagine you've got the sword. So the cocky really comes from sword work. So it's not something separate from sword work. So it's not that we do, the, 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 the feeling's exactly the same as in the sword work. So just pretend you've got the sword here, as if you cut, you cut, you cut. And then what I want you to do is very slowly, because we work with the hands, not with the sword, you start to bring the movement out. So you start to bring the movement out, but you're doing the same movement from the sword, from the sword, 
and then open the movement. Start to open the movement out. Now, as you open out naturally to this, this kind of distance, then the koku really appears as we use it in Aikido. So go from here and just explore in and out. So as if you've got the sword, rolling, 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 and then start to open it. And then close it. Close it back down. And then you come back into the sword. Boom. Boom. And then you come out. Boom. So the koku really comes from sword work. Very clear. So here. Here. Rolling. Open. 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 Good. That's it. Super clear. Yeah. So it's the same feeling, but the, the form's different. So it's not that I, it's not that the, 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 the sword work is directly interpreted into the Aikido. So it's not that I do exactly the same thing, but the sensation's the same. So my sensation of cutting with the sword is the same. So the same, it's the same sensation, but you've got to adapt the form. This is the, always the case. So you've got to adapt the handwork now to the fact that I'm, I've not got a weapon. Yeah. So roll in. So now just start to bring the footwork in, just roll in with the foot. You're just gonna keep the same side, press from the ground, find the, find the focus. Press from the ground, find the cocky, yeah? Just in your own time, just explore the feet. I think, thank you very much, I have to go, sorry. Okay, Roland, thank you very much. Hi, Roland. Take care, see you later. See you soon. Thank you. Good, just explore the feet from the ground, good. From the ground. Good. From the ground. From the ground. That's it. Great. Good. Good. Yeah. Great. Good. Okay, so we'll work on these a lot more over the over the weeks. Just really look at the sense that the arms aren't fixed in front and that then do it. Dun, dun. So in this case, it's not like it's not like this kind of rigid work. This is really for beginners. So none of you are really beginners. So look for now a sense of a wave through the body. So it's going to come again, center hands. So really look for ground, source the power from the ground, source the movement from the ground. You direct it into the hips and then express into the hands. So this is the order. So look, which basically gives you a kind of wave through the hands, mm -hmm. so nothing's rigid locked. It's not locked in the system, but the system's free. So the system should totally feel free. Your articulation should feel totally free all the time. And it's just a sense of concentrating, but it's not a sense of fixing. It's just a sense of, of concentrating. So just explore now slightly more flexible connection from the ground, ground, hips, hands, ground, hip, hand. And look for a wave through the body. <sighs> way through the body pressing to the ground Boom. this way yeah keep going flexible much more flexible good good yeah health of louise great good If, also, if you've got something at home like a ball, ideally it'd be a bit bigger, but you can play with, play with a ball's ideal. You're going to kind of press out from it. So you can play this in your own time. We'll, we'll do this maybe a bit later, another time, but have the feeling the, the ball's going to kind of roll out. I kind of press the ball forward, press the ball forward. So my motion's like this, this. It's like Morotodori as well, this kind of movement. Yeah, so I did a, good, a ball's a good object to kind of work with. You're going to kind of roll the ball roll the ball and in this case it's not a kind of push this is pushing uh, linear this is linear movement what you want to do is is arc so you're going to arc through the body so it means the ball's going to move so just imagine a ball or if you've got one use one but just feel like this rolls this rolls 
Yeah, gotta try. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, so the last thing we'll do, just look at, <clears throat> we'll look at kind of loosely different directions. So just press from the foot, come out. Okay, find another direction. Come out. Find another direction, press forward. So each time, find another direction, press. Another direction, press. Yeah. And keep everything loose, flexible. Press out. New direction, press. New direction, press. Yeah, keep going in your own time. So just look for different directions. That's good, dealer. Good, good, good. Good. All right. Okay, just go back to the sword. We just finished with Zengo, Giri. So, use the same kind of focus feeling. So, in the ground, the first one, find the back, cutting down, rotate, cutting down, cutting down. Focus on connection, stay in the ground. Nice and slow. Okay, guys, so we'll take a bow out and then if you want to ask any questions or something, you can do them here. So we'll stay in a bit longer if you like, just with the book in. So here. Hey, Domo, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, what you got here? Muy bien. The first. Okie dokie. So, if you have any questions or anything, just. Uh, Feel free, or any comments at all. Uh, yeah, I want to say I, I really like the the, the warm up movements. Yeah. The okay. Good. Movements. Good. I really like them. Yeah. So these are very, yeah, kind of freely adapted. Yes. Um, yeah. Work mainly working with spirals. So yeah, working for, working from spiral. I'm yeah working trying to work with the same structure. So the main the main the main focus. I'll see if I can share it. I mean, you guys. Guys in the dojo, you know this thing. Yeah. This is really the kind of the focus. And today, really much working on the the up down uh, dimension. Yeah. Actually, I've got the wrong one. That the 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 key thing is to da da. Okay, Doug. The key thing is this structure of like the order is like uh, source the power from the ground, direct it with the center, and then express it through the through the periphery. Or through the hands, in this case the bokken, but the same thing. I and try and use that, use that kind of order to do everything. So it's that 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 kind of is a kind of like an instruction. It's like a directive. Like everything we do should should come from that kind of structure. So whether we're, I think whether we're warming up or or, or moving, tight uh, in taijutsu or whatever, the that should be should be the kind of dominant theme in the way we use the body. That's the kind of that's my kind of yeah. So the warm-ups are kind of developed from that that kind of sense. 